The simplest of home habits can transform your life. And today we're going to talk about one of my favorites and all of the benefits of doing something so wonderful for your home, so simple to do. And really this can be a creative catalyst. It can do so much to help you to feel better and better. And that is dusting. Dusting your home can actually be the catalyst for so many great things in your life. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dana Claudette. I'm a modern feng shui master and founder of the School of Intention, which is an entire method and school of feng shui based on infinite possibility, creative awakening, and your intention, bringing your wishes, dreams, and desires to life. And decluttering is one of the most powerful ways to start a process of manifesting more. Anytime you want to do something new, you want to have a clean slate first. Anytime you want to make a fresh start, you really have to freshen everything around you. Your environment plays such a huge role in your life. And if you felt stuck or blocked or limited in any way, if you feel like the outside world is having too much of an impact on how you feel every day and your mood and your ability to focus, now is a great time to start focusing on decluttering. And in this series, I'm sharing simple home habits and simple projects that you can do so that you can become more grounded in your own power, creating a fresh start where so many new things come in that are unlimited. Unlimited abundance, unlimited flow, unlimited love, and the free feng shui decluttering video class is linked below. Please do not miss this because it's only going to be around for a few weeks this year. And it is one of my most favorite things to share. It is such a gorgeous way to set up for an incredible new year, an incredible fresh start. And I hope you love it all. So that is linked below. It's over an hour of feng shui to cleanse energy in your house, to clear things and to really start making shifts in your environment that supercharge your life. Today's shift is talking about the power of dusting. Sometimes when you know how powerful something is, it changes the way you view it. And for a lot of people, house cleaning in general is a chore. It's a chore. We call it chores. A lot of people were told that they were being punished by having to clean more, or it was someone got grounded and they had to clean their room. And it was all associated with these negative things, or it was just drudgery or something else to have to do things like cleaning. Now, cleaning can be such a huge part of keeping your energy high and light, your home's energy high and light. Oftentimes people ask me, what incense should I burn? What herbs, what things? And when I start by saying, clean your house, that's the best way to start clearing energy. People are like, no, but really, like what's the special magic? This is the special magic. This is where it all begins. And when we're talking about dusting today, dusting can be elaborate or it can be simple. If you're dusting frequently, just dust the surfaces that you can easily see. But at least once a week, if you can, try to remove all the knickknacks, try to remove all the things from the shelves and the countertops and really wipe everything down well. That's going to make a remarkable difference. You're going to really feel this major shift. But if you can dust more frequently and dust with this energy in mind that as I'm dusting, I am actually making a shift in my life. As I'm dusting, I am building more focus. As I'm dusting, I'm cleansing the energy in my space. This can be easy just to go over surfaces really quickly. It can be very meditative. You can zone out, put on meditative music, put on a podcast and go through your house and dust all the surfaces. Really, it doesn't have to take long, could be five, 10 minutes in the morning, but it can really clear your mind. Imagine as you're dusting off the dust, you are creating clarity within yourself. One of my favorite shifts from dusting is that it can help you to focus more. When you start dusting all of the surfaces in your home more, you are creating an energetic field that is more clear in your space. You are removing things that do not belong. You're removing energies that do not belong. You're removing toxins that do not belong. This is also really rewarding because when you dust, 
everything around you starts to sparkle. You take that hazy layer away from your home and everything starts to shine more and you feel that throughout your whole body. You feel the inspiration coming back to you from your space. You feel the energy coming back to you, this great burst of energy. Dusting, as I mentioned briefly, can also detox your home and it can detox your home significantly. There's lots of things in dust. I don't want to, again, get into fear or talk about all sorts of things that can be unsettling, but let's just say, when you dust, you can detox your home significantly, especially if you have allergies or you are very sensitive to different environments and weather conditions, dusting can be incredible. Now, if you are sensitive to dust, if you happen to have one of those masks hanging around, those N95s or KN95s, put it on while you're dusting. It can help you a lot to not take in dust while you are dusting all of your surfaces. Now, the final benefit I wanna talk about of dusting is that it can be a creative awakening. So whenever you feel stuck or stressed or you're in your head, you feel blocked, you don't know what to do next, clean your home, and most importantly, do some dusting. In The Artist's Way, Julia Cameron talks about ing activities, meaning words that end with the letter ing, like scrubbing, dusting, polishing, uh, cleaning, all of these things that can actually help you to stimulate your creativity. So it can be a great way to get motivated or to get unstuck during the day to take a break and say, okay, I'm gonna do something practical and magical for myself and I'm gonna dust my office. I'm gonna wipe everything down. I'm gonna wipe out down all the surfaces. Now doing this with this spirit of openness and this intention to create a change is really powerful. But even if you have absolutely no intention behind it, you will still feel the freshness. You will still feel the openness. You will really feel the shift. And this is so exciting. One little note I want to leave you with before I end this video is that if you are doing your house cleaning, dust first and then vacuum. That's very, very helpful. I never really put the two together. Sometimes I would vacuum and then I'd start dusting everything. And then I'd realize, wait, the dust that I'm not getting on my dust cloth is going on the floor and I just vacuumed. That bums me out. So dust first, uh, allow everything to settle that you haven't actually wiped up on your dust cloth and then vacuum your home and it's gonna be a big, huge supercharger. So simple things, practical things, but major magical shifts. If you have questions and comments, please leave them below. I love hearing from you. It's been so exciting to see what's been happening for so many of you as you've been really getting into the whole groove of all of this feng shui from all of the different unique and creative angles. And please don't forget to sign up below for the free feng shui decluttering class. It's gonna be starting soon and it's going to be epic. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. It really makes a difference for the channel, getting this work out to more people. And I so appreciate it. This entire channel is full of videos for you to explore and I will be back soon with more.